The use of painting, drawing, sculpture to represent things or express ideas. Art is something we see every day of our lives. It has no exact definition, for art is something different to each individual. Art is very important for humans. It has been a way for one to record their existence, to express one's feelings, both positive and negative, and a way to make the world better. Although young people these days are less interested in classical paintings or drawings that many people think of when they think of art, they are in contact with more art in their daily lives than the generation before them. The art that many young people immerse themselves in lately is music. We interviewed people of different ages to see how they would define art in their own words. What does art mean to you? Some drawing. Uh, means something beautiful. Uh, art is the way to express myself, like drawing the pictures. Um, to me, I believe that art is a form of expression that's used for many things, such as making a statement about something, giving a message, and it's pretty to look at. Art, I think art to me is like an expression of mind, also like. Um, to me, like when I used to be little, like I used to like write stories and stuff. So to me, a way of expressing that those thoughts and writing was like drawing, because I thought that art could express stories and stuff. For me, it's like the feeling that you can't talk, so you either write it down or you draw it. Because art isn't only in painting; it's also in poetry. So that's how I feel. Art is um, a language that human beings. Where words fail, art picks up the rest of uh, the conversation. Um, I think it's a, it's a very important language that humanity uh, uses to speak to each other. It, it kind of transcends um, the language barrier. Um, so if I, if I paint a picture, I feel like it can be understood in every language. Do you know what a mural is? Nope, never heard of it. Okay, um, all right then, thank you. Yep. Do you know what a mural is? A mural? Yep. What is it? <laughs> Do you know what a mural is? No. <laughs> A giant painting that everybody in the community can see and appreciate and has access to because a, a lot of times uh, fine art is uh, limited to like museum spaces and gallery spaces and everybody in the community doesn't go to those spaces necessarily so to have like really good art on the walls outside the community makes really good art accessible to to everybody in the community, people who don't necessarily go to museums or, or um, to galleries. We begin this process with uh, a lot of research, getting to know who it is we're working for and what the intention is um, and the theme is behind our project. This particular project, we wanted to focus more on the alternatives to violence and specifically like what are the alternatives within this particular community, um, specifically with this community partner who create, they create a lot of programs for the community and they're a great support system for the community. So we look to them actually for a lot of inspiration and um, and then also we, you know, we interviewed um, 
people in the community, like asking them how they felt about violence in the, in the neighborhood and what's their relationship with uh, gun violence and what do they see to be the alternatives to violence um, in their own neighborhood. So we get perspective from as many places as we can to inform our design process. From there, it's just trying to figure out the structure. How are things going to flow? What, uh, what's the story that we want to tell? You know, and uh, how to create um, a strong narrative, you know, in a mural, so that it's readable, you know, so that because I mean, it's all, it's all visual, you know. Mostly, we're using, you know, we're using pictures to tell a story, you know, the story of this community as it relates to, to violence or to the alternatives. Murals make the, the world better in a lot of different ways, and I think one of them is obviously just general public passing by and being able to see them, and maybe they'll think about something different. But I think what a lot of it is is the, the group of, of students that we're working with. I think we can really uh, kind of influence their thinking, and you know, maybe kind of uh, change their ideas about how they feel about certain things. You know, from like stereotypes to you know whatever, like violence. What we're working on, I think it just kind of expand. We're trying to expand their minds. So I mean, that's one way we're working with them and they can like kind of help spread the word to their friends and to other people that they know. I think it brings people together, brings minds together, it brings creativity together, it brings community partners like cloth and um, organizations like Groundswell together to do collective work. It brings youth together with artists. Um, you know, projects like this, uh, I think, work on so many levels to like better the community and personal relationships with people. I definitely appreciate street art just because I, I appreciate people who definitely know what a struggle is like because I'm from that side of the tracks as well. So when you see something that is, again, really frowned upon, and then I'm trying to like vision it right now. And like you see like all this raw talent that some kids have. I think it should definitely be well appreciated and I think it goes very unappreciated in today's society. So graffiti, I think it is definitely an art to me. I mean it's people expressing themselves, being creative. I mean there's a difference, you know, when it comes to defacing things versus graffiti. I, I for me it's kind of a difference, but People are expressing themselves. To me, that's like definitely an art form.